Ladies and gentlemen, it's for my, to, to me it's the second time I can speak to you and from this place I would like to thank my comrades which are uh, with me. Comrades, it's not communist term in this room, <laughs> but very familiar <laughs> family. And I would like to thank uh, to my wife and family because we are together at this time. At the beginning, <coughs> Mr. R. Thompson asked me uh, to tell about this sign, this um, Calvary uh, night, and uh, it's our symbol because it is uh, the symbol of Polish greatness and Polish courage, courageness. So it's uh, winged hussar which ruled for 200 years on European battlefields. And uh, <coughs> the, uh, there is a remission of our greatness. So it's a hope that we will manage to make Poland great again. Um, my last talk was about history, but now I would like to, um, to tell you about our organization. Uh, I um, come back to my uh, studies, my entrance, entrance into uh, adulthoodness, this I need to change the glasses. <laughs> My lovely wife. Thank you. My entrance into adulthood coincided with 1980 outbreak of the rebellion against the communist regime in Poland. At that time, I came to believe that we would regain freedom. As a high school, high school student, I joined a youth movement supporting solidarity. And in the fall of 1981, I participated in the students' anti-communist strikes. I was a freshman at the Krakow Institute of Technology when the Polish communists, under the leadership of General Wojciech Jaruzelski, a minion of Russia, uh, <coughs> decreed the martial law in December 1981 and drowned our dreams of free Poland in the blood of over, over a hundred of Polish patriots. I lost, I lost hope. For almost five years, I kept looking, looking for purpose of life and a new hope. I started to, to read the Bible. And soon after that I met, met an American missionary who led me to Christ. For the next few years as a young believer, I still wasn't full aware of the political and Republican meaning of the Bible. But in the early 90s, this time as a young pastor, I began to refer to our history in my sermons and speak about, about God's action in history and in politics. This encouraged the Christian of my church to find interest in politics. In 2003, as polls, polls cast ballots in the referendum concerning our country's um, access to European Union, our church, the New Covenant Church, was the only one in Poland officially condemning the prospect of joining the EU. Thank you. In particular, we pointed out the spiritual dangers of the communist artifact on the basis of Bible, bi biblical wisdom. Then we start our media activity with the first issue of Go Against the Tide monthly. 
As you can see, it doesn't look impressive. <laughs> better, now we have some better. Uh, I think for Berchers, it would be the, the, the low picture would be very nice. <laughs> I can pass it. If you, the old one, you would like to see it. But um, back uh, then, our church numbered only 25 adult members. So there was uh, such kind of material support. support. In turning into a close collaboration with Law and Justice, the largest allegedly right-wing party that has enjoyed full power in Poland since 2015, I discovered that three things. One, the people of that party still display slavish and communist mentality. They don't understand the nature of freedom and treat the Republican values as empty cliches. In reality, then they don't surpass the communists in their thinking and mode of government. They are corrupted, they lack freedom of thought and courage to oppose evil. When musing on Poland, they only seek whom to serve, Russia, Germany, China, etc. They are even afraid to dream about free, sovereign Poland. Two, the party system in Poland is constructed in such a way that regardless of which party wins, the actual power is still in the hands of communists. For example, no, no longer than a year ago, a hundred of exposed communist agents worked legally at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The remaining posts were staffed by their family member and friends. In other words, through democratic elections, we only replaced puppet ministers who don't hold real power while the communist clique still rules in Poland. The media market provides another, another example. It is entirely controlled by either German capital, 90% of the domestic press belongs to German concerns, or by the government along with the farmer communist activists and agents. We have demonstrated how this works in practice in the instance of our petition to President Donald Trump calling an international investiga investigation into the Smolensk catastrophe 2010. We had one month to gather 100,000 signatures about the uh, signatures. In the course, course of this 30 days, virtually no Poland white medium informed about the petition expect a brief statement during the last few uh, hours of signature gathering. Great thanks to the John Birch Society and especially to Mr. Art Thompson for your enormous support for our petition among US citizens. Thank you. <laughs> we ended up with less than one thousand signature, signatures short. For a few hours after the petition had closed, all the mainstream media, both private and government controlled, trumped our failure. Likewise, recently on September 10th, in the aftermath of media smear campaign, uh, aiming at discrediting us and presenting us as a dangerous cult, a pro-Russian vigilant squad 
uh, assaulted our church property. They posted slanderous posters and splashed the gate with feces. But no medium in Poland was interested of, in mentioning the incident. Yet, when four days later someone slashed tires in a car belonging to, an, to one of the Israeli politicians, certainly a disgraceful and blameworthy act, almost all the media reported on it. All these facts considered, we need the following three things in order to change Poland. One, an agent that will liberate the Poles from the slave mentality. Two, tools necessary to reach the entire Poland with this message. And three, an organization that will manage the new potential. First, the only agent possessing power to change human hearts and mind is God, in particular through his living words, the Bible. This is foundation of the Christian civilization. We cannot build a Christian republic without invoking him. Amen. Second, the communists have secured control over the tradition media. But God gave our generation the internet. We decide to fill this niche. At virtually no cost, we launched a YouTube TV channel and began to broadcast both spiritual as well political content. It worked. Three years ago, when I met Mr. Dan Saxon, as he presented, um, of the John Birch Society in, in Indiana, on, um, our YouTube channel had about 6,700 subscribers, which was al already a great success uh, concerning the Polish reality. In February 2016, just a few months after coming back from the US, after our first trip to your country, and bringing with us new enthusiasm and a vision of changing Poland, we started our daily political Bible TV show. Every day at 1 p.m. during lunchtime, we present polls with a lively, amusing, up-to-date, and Bible-based based political program. In one year, the number of subscribers rose to over 20,000, and in the following year, to 50,000. At that point, of course, our original YouTube channel was blocked. <laughs> yeah. After the first few weeks of our activity, our viewers began to organize spontaneously into grassroots clubs of Go Against the Tide. They also launched a very generous fin financial support for our project. It had been unheard of in Poland. Up till then, everything had been sponsored by either the government or by foreign foundations. Five months into our daily broadcasting, we organized the first Congress of Go Against the Tides Club with over 100 participants. Another five, five months later, during the second Congress, as many as 170 participants were present. One of our greatest media successes was the support for Donald Trump during his presidential campaign and our prediction of his victory in 2016 elections, despite the fact that almost no one believed and certainly no one in Poland talked about it. Half a year later, the third go, go against a tight conference welcomed about 250 participant, participants and the CEO of the John Birch Society, Mr. Art 
Thompson was the guest of honor. <laughs> Our clubs have been involved in campaigns warning against the danger, dangers of expansion of Chinese communists by hosting both in Poland and elsewhere in Europe screenings of such film as In the Name of Confucius and Hard to Believe. When the Polish law and justice government uh, supposedly and anti an an anti-communist party boasts a Chinese naval vessel as a part of the celebration of the 100th anniversary of regaining of our independence, only the Gdańsk Club of Go Against the Tide protested publicly against that disgraceful event. Although we are not big in number yet, the information about that action reached as far as Taiwan. Likewise, Likewise, we were the only ones who called for German war reparations for Poland at the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. Also, the American troops in Poland always may feel welcomed by the members of Go Against the Tide clubs. <laughs> About 10 million Poles live abroad, mainly in the US and other English-speaking countries. In order to reach the Polish diaspora more efficiently and to break the conspiracy of silence against us, this year we set in motion an English channel called uh, Channel of Our TV, Make Poland Great Again. And certainly we are planning an, an, to open a TV studio in Chicago as we often joke in Poland, the second largest Polish city in the world, <laughs> second after Warsaw. <laughs> as, as I mentioned before, we are ignored by the mainstream media and discriminated against by the ruling party law and justice. That the latter masquerades as a right-wing party oriented toward an alliance with the free world under leadership of the United States of America. In reality, it preserves the post-Soviet communist system and allows Poland to become prey to the economic and political expansion of China. In July, uh, Deputy Prime Minister Jarosław Gowin declared that the strategic partnership with the communist China established in 2011 by the leftist administration is still binding. That is an example of the party concealed alliance between law and justice and the Chinese communists. This overt treachery of the allegedly pro-American and Republican Party law and justice is a great disappoint disappointment and evokes anger, as well as feeling hopelessness among Polish patriots. Hence the current visit to the USA, especially here, here to celebrate the 60th anniversary of John Burr's society. Congratulations to you, great people of America. <laughs> we are hoping that at this time too, that this time too, God will give us a new vision. We are eager to receive from you the essential knowledge to build the grassroots foundations of Republican society more efficiently, so that Poland once more would be free, great, and bring stability and hope to our part of Europe. When, when one of my friends, a compatriot, was saying goodbye before, before I flight to the US, I asked what I could bring 
from him from America. I mean some kind of a gift or souvenir. But he said to me, I want you to bring us hope. I want you to bring us hope. And this request, I would like pass on to you, my friends from the free world. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of, of States of America. And God bless my beloved country. God bless Poland. Thank you.